graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can use the dual brush feature to create some interesting textures in brushes in Photoshop and Photoshop CC 2014. First thing to do I'm just going to create the brush design for it and that's I'm going to use a gradient just quickly over here it's a gradient from graphic extras it's basically got black at this end and it goes to transparency so just apply it here and it's going to be full of just dots to give it a sort of mottled dot design. And I'm just quickly create. Depends how many dots you want to add to the image. I mean, you could obviously go for smaller. There you go. Right. I've actually done that. Quickly select the area. And, oops, just don't want to find that. Just want to over that area there. And say, edit and define brush preset. Click OK. Now, just going to go back to the an empty document. Now, I'm going to use the brushes, uh, dinosaur brushes. These are from Graphic Extras. So, a dinosaur brush. I'm just going to select this one. So it's basic, basic uh, dinosaur brush, silhouette design. So, if I just apply it normally, just like that, that would be the design. But you can just, I'm going to undo that, apply it onto a layer. So, a layer, a new layer. Click OK. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to combine it with the dual brush feature. Well, the dual brush is down here. It does require a slight bit of setup because uh, just click in there. The preview is not the easiest one to, to work with. It does require a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to go for the darken option. You can just see the design down there the count and the number of dots there and you can scatter it obviously just want it scattered those dots scattered throughout that uh, that image so just gonna apply it now you just see you've got the dots just applying there so you can just basically create a dinosaur filled with lots of dots scattered through the image which you could of course stop at this point but just gonna stop about there I want uh, some structures still left some white areas don't want it all filled with Otherwise, won't be able to get much sort of visual effects. Right, next thing to do is a layer, layer style. And I'm just going to go to, actually, first thing I'm going to do, actually, another thing I'm going to do, just before I do that, layer, I want to actually convert it to a smart object. I really like smart objects. So just layer, then a layer style, and bevel emboss. And you can already see you've got to the, uh, the effect there, you've got just applied. And you can see them the dots I've added into the dinosaur can be seen there obviously soften it modify the angle so you can change different have different as well as change the gloss to create different textures for the dinosaur right and of course you can add the contour and you can modify again change the general design very quick and easy and obviously depends what you really want so that's it quick and easy way of using the dual brush to create some interesting textures and designs for a dinosaur or of course any other brush and using different textures of course you could don't have to go with dots you could go with squares stars heart designs whatever you want to achieve and what sort of design you actually want to apply Hope you found this of interest.